this video is for Unit 4, Part 2, Practice. I'm going to do number 1, 2, and 3 on this video. All three of these um, we can use Desmos for. So we want to enter a multiple choice. The first one says the height of a missile after it's been fired is given by this following equation. So we want to know which of the following represents the number of seconds it will take for the rocket to reach its greatest height. When you're asked to find the greatest height of something, that means you're trying to find the maximum. So we're going to type this equation into Desmos and find the vertex, the maximum, and then figure out which number is the number of seconds. Okay, so on Desmos, you're going to type in your function, <coughs> negative 4.9. Now you need to use x's, you can't use the t's, plus 44.1x. When I look at my graph here, all I have to do is click on the vertex. And I get a vertex at 4.5 become a 99.225. I'll write that here. Our vertex is 4.5. Now you need to understand which part of the vertex we're looking at. The x coordinate here is acting, is acting like the t, the time. And the y coordinate is the height, the h. So we want to know the number of seconds, that means the time, which here for this vertex would be 4.5. Okay, so it takes four and a half seconds for the missile to get to its highest height. The highest height is about 99 feet. All right, number two. There's a lot of extraneous information here, so I'll focus you in on the important part. A tour company has a ticket price for the number of people that go on a trip. I'm going to skip you here to the last sentence. The to second to last sentence. The total revenue, revenue is like profit, how much money they make, is determined by the number of people who go on the trip. The equation is right here. That's the equation we're looking at. How many people maximize the revenue? So maximize means you're looking for the max of the vertex, or the vertex, the maximum. So let's start by typing this in, and then we'll be able to identify what part of the maximum we're looking at. We have negative 2 x squared plus 52x. All right, so I can't see the maximum. I need to adjust my window. I can't see the x's, so I'm going to maybe make the x max out to 100. Yep, and that'll, be, that'll work for me. And my y max needs to be higher, so maybe I'll make it 300. And not quite there, just a little bit higher, so maybe 350, which allows me to see the maximum. I click on the vertex there, and I get the vertex of 3, 338. So when I look at 3, 338, I need to know which value I'm looking at. Well, the letter that's acting like an X here is the N. The N is the number of people. The R is acting like Y, that's your R, and that's the revenue. This problem is asking you how many people maximize the revenue. So the number of people there would be 13, and I think I wrote that wrong. And B, yep, 13 there. I forgot the one. So the number of people is 13, option A. All right, finally, number three, not multiple choice. The amount of cloth used to make four curtains is modeled by A equals negative 4W squared plus 40W. W is the width, and A is the area. We want to find the width that maximizes the area. So when I'm finding the maximum again, I am finding the highest one. So we type this into Desmos. Y equals, and the equation, negative 4X squared plus 40x. All right, my graph there, it's really small, but I'm only looking for the maximum. So I just click on it, and I get the ordered pair 5, 100. So when I look at the ordered pair, 5, 100, what the letter acting like the x here is the width, the w. So that's the width that maximizes the area, so 5 feet. The area... A is acting like your Y. So that 100 is the square footage that would be the maximum area of your curtain. <laughs> now
Now, finally, it says if you make curtains that have a width of six feet, that's your W, what would be the area? Well, remember, W is acting like the X here. So you're going to put six into the equation for W. And the fast way of doing this is to make a table. You're going to go into your table. You're going to put six in for X. And it'll tell you that the area that you get if you make the curtain six feet wide would be 96 feet. 96 square feet. All right, that's the practice for number two, short and sweet, if you have questions, ask your teacher.